When we think about the fastest animals, the first one that comes to mind is the cheetah. Regarded as the fastest animal in the world, they are stunning examples of raw speed. However, there is an animal that could give them a run for their money, the pronghorn. Pronghorns are unique antelope-like animals known as the fastest animal in North America, but which is truly the faster animal. Join us as we compare the two and discover everything you need to know about pronghorn vs cheetah. The 5 Key Differences Between Pronghorns and Cheetahs Physical Appearance When we look at a cheetah, it is easy to see why they can achieve such incredible speeds. They are slick, streamlined hunters. Virtually every part of their body helps to give them some advantage. Their long tails are used for balance while running and act like a rudder, enabling them to make split-second turns while chasing down prey. Cheetahs also have hard paw pads rather than soft ones, which give them added grip. Additionally, they have incredibly unique claws. They are the only cat family member without fully retractable claws. Instead, they have a genus, a Cynonyx, entirely to themselves. As surprising as it might be, cheetahs actually have blunt claws, which are semi-curved and only semi-retractable. This allows their claws to act as running spikes and gives them extra traction while running. On the other hand, pronghorns might not look as quite as adapted as cheetahs for running at fast speeds, but they still have a few things that help them out, and one of their major adaptations is their hooves. Pronghorns are cloven-hoofed, the same as cattle, sheep, pigs, deer, giraffes, and antelopes, and each foot has two long, pointed sections. These two toes are incredibly well-cushioned, which, along with their long, powerful hind legs, helps them to spring forward for each stride to great effect. Although not so much a physical adaptation, pronghorns also tend to run with their mouth wide open, which helps them to get the maximum amount of oxygen into their bodies to fuel their muscles. More on this later. Advantage Cheetah Stride Length One of the most important factors determining the speed of an animal is how much ground it can cover with every stride. Both pronghorns and cheetahs can cover immense stretches of ground in a single stride, yet most accounts give pronghorns the edge. Cheetahs can cover 23 feet per stride. Incredibly, cheetahs spend more than half of the time sprinting airborne with all four feet up off the ground, enabling them to achieve such a long stride. However, despite this, pronghorns still manage to cover 29 feet per stride. Advantage Pronghorn Sustained speed While we know that cheetahs can attain a higher maximum speed, Raw speed alone isn't quite everything. Instead, endurance also plays a part and can be incredibly important when hunting or outrunning predators. Although incredibly fast, cheetahs can only run in short sprints. They cannot sustain their top speed over a long distance. Before stopping, cheetahs can maintain top speed for approximately 20 to 30 seconds or around 500 yards. 0.28 miles. This means that if a hunt goes on for longer or further, it will usually be unsuccessful. However, although pronghorns also can't maintain top speed, they can maintain a high speed for much longer. Pronghorns can maintain a speed of around 30 miles per hour for up to 20 miles. This means that they are capable of outrunning pretty much any predator. Advantage Pronghorn Muscles One of the keys to being able to move around is because of the way that our muscles work, and it's the same for animals. All skeletal muscles contain muscle fibers, which can be divided into two types, fast twitch, and slow twitch. However, not everyone has an equal amount of fast or slow twitch muscle fibers. Fast twitch muscles provide powerful forces which are most useful for short, fast bursts of energy, although the downside is that they tire quickly. Fast twitch muscles are mainly anaerobic and therefore don't require as much oxygen. Cheetahs contain many fast twitch muscles, around 20% more than other fast-moving animals which is why they are suited for short bursts of speed but cannot maintain it over a distance. Slow twitch muscle fibers are essentially the opposite of fast twitch. Slow twitch muscles provide smaller forces that can be sustained over a long period. They are aerobic and require a lot of oxygen. However, they are resistant to fatigue, so they don't tire as quickly. Slow twitch muscles are more suited to endurance rather than sprinting. Pronghorns contain more slow twitch muscle fibers, meaning they can run for long distances without tiring. Lung capacity. Another Another factor affecting the speed and distance that pronghorns and cheetahs can run is their lung capacity and the amount of oxygen they can inhale per minute, which also affects the muscles. We've already explained how each animal is uniquely adapted in ways we can see, but both are well adapted on the inside. Both have much larger hearts, lungs, and windpipes than you might expect for their size, allowing maximum air intake. 
Studies have shown that pronghorns can take between 6 and 10 liters of oxygen per minute. Incredibly, this is around 5 times more than other mammals of a similar size. Taking in as much oxygen as possible is essential for pronghorns, as their slow-twitch muscles require large amounts of oxygen to perform at their best. Another way that they are uniquely adapted is that they have one-way lungs, which means that they can inhale air continuously as it exits their lungs via a different route, although no studies provide a direct comparison for cheetahs. Given that they run at maximum speed for much less than one minute, other studies show that cheetahs can only take in a maximum of 1.5 liters of oxygen in a 23-second sprint. This gives an estimation of circa 3 liters of oxygen per minute which is far, far less than that of pronghorns. Surprisingly, cheetahs still take in a lot of oxygen during a sprint, despite their fast-twitch muscles not requiring the same oxygen level that pronghorn muscles require. Cheetahs breathe between 60 and 150 times per minute to achieve this oxygen intake. Advantage Pronghorn Which is faster? Looking at the above points, it would seem that pronghorns have many advantages over cheetahs. However, cheetahs are easily the best regarding raw speed alone and they have incredible acceleration and can achieve maximum speed in only a few seconds. Therefore, cheetahs are faster than pronghorns when it comes to a sprint. But when it comes to endurance and a race over a longer distance, pronghorns easily can outrun cheetahs. So that's it for today. If you like this video, then please hit the like and subscribe button for more videos. Thanks for watching.